In this tutorial, we will look at resources that you can attach to your assignment. Now, underneath the instructions area, you're going to see add resources here with the paper clip. So you can add multiple resources. They could be files, they could be hyperlinks, and you're not limited to just one resource. You can put as many as you want in here. So what are the options? So I'm gonna click add resources. And what you'll see is you can grab files from all over the place. Perhaps there's a file in your OneDrive that you have that you'd like to attach. Perhaps there's a page in your class notebook you'd like to grab. Link. Link here is where you would provide your hyperlink. So let's say you have a great video that's on the web somewhere and you want to just give your students access to it so they can watch the video as part of doing the assignment. Just paste that link in here, enter a description, and you're good to go. So for example, I'm going to jump over here to my browser. This is a great video that I found on YouTube that I'd like to add in as a resource for my students. So I'm going to go down here to share and get the share link to this video. There it is. I'm going to copy it. Now I'm going to go back to Teams and paste it right in here. Boom. Enter description. And I'm just going to say watch this video first. And that will now be added. I'll click attach. And this will be added down here as a resource. Now to add another one, I'm just going to go back into add resources. Because again, I can add more than one. And now you can also click on Teams here and access files from other teams that you're a part of and pull those files from there. And then finally, you can go down here to upload from the device. So if you have something on the computer you're working on, on the desktop, you can upload the file from there. Now, the last thing is new file. Let's say you don't have any file or document already created for them to use. You can click new file and start a brand new file from scratch. In this case, I want a Word document. So I'm going to click Word document. And we'll call this 13 Colonies Worksheet. And I'm going to click attach. Now what this is going to do, it's going to create a brand new Word document with that file name. And this will be what the students will click into and actually work on. Now, um, before sending this out as just a blank document, I highly recommend that number one, you repeat the instructions. Just go ahead and copy these instructions and then paste them at the top of your document. And the reason for this is because when the students are in, once they open this Word document and they're in it, they're not going to see the instructions anymore. So it's just nice to have them right there at the bot, uh, you know, at the top of this document. So I can click in here and paste, paste in those instructions. Let me go to Edit Document, Edit in Browser, and so now I could just paste these instructions right in here. The other thing I might do is, obviously, I need to write up the questions. So, you know, type in um, the specific questions I have. Um, and then underneath that, another good, and I'm just going to type question one here um, for time. But what you could do is underneath that, you could actually insert, uh, and this is helpful, insert a, a table with just one cell right and what that'll do is you can tell students you know to type their answer in the box below the question because they can start typing away here and return and the box will grow if they need it to so that's kind of a nice way to prepare a document like this that your students will be working on and then I'm just going to close it up here at the top right when I'm ready. Now, there's one final step with a file like this, because you have two options. Sometimes you might want to provide a file for the students that's just view only. Maybe it's just a resource for them to read. 
But there's a, in this case, I want them to be able to edit this file. This is where they're going to actually do their work. Well, I have to turn that on. So off here to the far right, I'm going to click the drop down menu. And notice here there's two options. Students edit their own copy and students can't edit. In this case, I want them to edit their own copy, so I'm going to make that selection. This will ensure that every student gets their own copy and they can edit it. Okay, and then I'm good to go here. The next thing we'll look at is your points and rubric.